Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 83 of our RimWorld Alpha 16 Zippy's Folly Let's Play. When we last left off, it was the 8th of fall, and the pawns of Zippy's Folly were... Actually, they were going to get ready to go on a raid of their own, I think. Let's make sure we're still... You know, it doesn't matter whether we're still enemies with these guys or not, because we're going to attack them, and they will go back to being our enemies, that's for sure. Let's see if we can look at this world map. doesn't really want to seem to load up. Chego of the Ridge, that is our enemy. Oh, we haven't looked at that for a while either. Let's come back to that here in a moment. Let's, uh, our wealth is up to 400,000, so it's, we're not even all that wealthy. I've had colonies get up to a million in wealth. I believe that's where Zippy's Folly ended up by the time we wrapped it up. If not, I know the, the, the weird square colony that I made up was, uh, was uh, full of, uh, was up to a million in wealth. Over here, 426,000, 43 major threats. Not even 100,000 damage taken, so again, not, uh, strange that uh, I'm already kind of growing cold with this colony when we haven't even come close to setting any sort of like record kind of numbers. But, um, why, uh, so you know what, actually most of these guys are in pretty good moods. Uh, Zippy, you know, let's let, it's the problem with having multiple shifts, I guess. It's going to be hard to to have a time where everybody's awake and kind of full and, and uh, ready to go fighting. Um, but I am going to take probably two-thirds of our pawns here out on a raid. And uh, we're going to leave the base fairly undefended. But on the other hand, I feel like the base is pretty self-sustaining. The defenses are, are, you know, they don't really need a lot of pawns. I'll leave like one sniper and, and one or two ranged fighters behind. And um, I think they'll be able to hold down the fort. You know what I can do here, I suppose, is I could put a few more, uh, a few more doors in like that. So that will uh, maybe maybe help uh, make the base slightly better defensive because then there's an actual wall off area where it's not open to the outside world. Like right now, those doors. Do leave this place open to the outside world. In theory, I, I think that's why the Manhunters were attacking us uh, in the previous episodes, because they could get in. Uh, also, we had this door down here where they could get in. Um, that, uh, yeah, this one I, I apparently had never built. Now, I don't know where this came, this muffalo came from. And it's frozen. Wow, is it that cold out already? Shit, I might not be able to might not be worth trying to do that raid. Let's, uh, let's try to get that over with as quickly as we can here. Looks like everybody's waking up. So let's take a look at our world map here and look at the terrain. Okay, so it's still only 1.6 hours. So let's, um, can we just form a caravan just like out here? There we go. So we're gonna leave northeast, south, southeast. No, south west right because of the uh, the terrain can I look at their needs through here I can't well shit all right well let's just add him Nick I guess we're gonna leave flame behind take Nathan and Ryan. We'll take Michael. I think we'll leave Wanderer behind. We'll leave Velasco behind. We'll take Ben. Erasmo, you can come with us. Christian, of course. And uh, Erasmo, well, we don't need a traitor, so we're not going to take a traitor. We'll take Kevin. We'll leave Zippy behind. So that leaves five, which is plenty. Um, and uh, mostly all we're going to need to take at this point is just food. Um, okay, so that's who. Oh, items. There we are. And Pemmican. Uh, we don't really need um, one day's worth of food. So 500. Two days worth of food. Weird. Three days. All right. Um, why not? 1,500 then. Fine. 
And uh, we don't really need to take much anything else. We could try to take something crazy like a... Uh, well, you know what? Let's take some medicine. And... Do we want to take like a bed? Or... <laughs> cloth armchair? That'd be hilarious. Just drag one of those with us. Uh, unfinished cowboy hat. I'm not going to take a bed either because I just don't seem to have any beds. Now, why do I have all this stupid camel, this uh, tribal wear that I can't, wasn't able to sell? I should take that with me and then just leave it behind. All right, so we've got some medicine. So what's going to happen when uh, when we take that medicine with us? Well, we'll find out. Um, great, let's go. Accept. All right, now how do I get back? Uh, there we are. Yeah, get that uh, get that caravan together, everybody. This will be exciting. And potentially destroy the entire colony. Probably not, though. I, I feel like we've waited quite a while to be able to do this. And it uh, should be pretty safe, I think. There they go, most of them. I guess they're waiting for Ryan and Nick to catch up. What took those guys so long? Anytime now. There we are. So let's go to the world screen. You guys, very simple. Attack Toxo. It shouldn't take long either. I guess it's not really all that interesting to watch from, from out there. Now, I, I hope it pauses the game. I'm sure we'll pause the game or something when we get there. Zippy's down here mining, huh? Guess we need that steel. So crazy to have this swamp gone now. That took up so much space before. How's the uh, how's the caravan coming along? It's not even not even halfway there. <clears throat> nice dining room though, right? Silver table, probably uh, probably a little overkill, but 142, extremely impressive. 542 just for that table, real nice. Wait, a, now what's that minus five? It must be dirty or something. It's dirty. All right, caravan ambushed. Uh oh. Well, um, I, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. It is, uh, they're out there for fighting purposes. And they're ambushed by Muffalo. That's not the greatest. Um, all right. Well, Ben, stay where you are. Nick, go there. Kevin, go there. Michael. And Christian, I guess. Ryan, Nathan, I forgot to give you a weapon. That's not good. But I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Can't believe I forgot to grab a weapon for Nathan. And then we're just going to have to leave all this meat here to rot. Probably could have run away, huh? Can't you run away if you get to the edge of the map? This is uh, not going to go as well as I had hoped. I guess that's why I brought uh, brought medicine, but we're not going to need it. First off, they're only going to get bruised anyways. Yep, eat up, fellas. Oh, Ben! Oh, Ben is sleeping for some reason. And Erasmo. Well, I guess they, uh, I guess they needed it. Can we do that retroactively? <laughs> huh? That's funny. He wakes up to eat some more. 
Oh, yeah, look at that little green area. Maybe that means that we could have left. Oh, we'll give these guys some time to sleep. I guess Ben needs a sleeping spot as well, or somebody else took his sleeping spot. So what happens if they show up to raid and, like, uh, you know what I mean? There's, uh, oh, so we're using up all of our medicine on uh, bruises and stuff. That's not good. What could I be doing here? Is there anything interesting I could be doing here? Like hunting those animals? <laughs> I don't really want to haul any uh, haul any rocks. I could chop chop down some trees. Not that I need to haul any wood home either. Looks like everybody's doing fine back at home. Nobody's idle or anything. All right. Let's um, let's reform this caravan here. Uh, how do we do that? Reform caravan. Yep. And then items. Uh, <laughs> do I want to take any of those chunks or corpses? 126 kilos for the uh, muffalo corpses. That's crazy. Uh, but that's nice. Uh, wood doesn't really weigh that much, so that's uh, like a nice little bonus there. Um, yeah, we need to save some uh, save some room for our uh, for our uh, uh, loot that we get from the raid. So, good thing it was muffalos that don't really do any real damage. Our uh, pawn should be in fairly good shape, although I don't, Ryan doesn't look so healthy there, huh? Um, no, close. Uh, health. There we go. Ryan. Ryan's in severe pain. But I guess that's all. Health. Torso. Oh, okay. So he could end up getting getting killed. He almost did get killed uh, because of his uh, torso injuries, huh? I want to keep that in mind. Don't, definitely don't need to lose any pawns right now. I'm trying to get more. The last goes over there drilling at night. Wonder. Okay. Uh, going to leave this one, I guess. I'll go ahead and deconstruct this one. You, I think I'm going to deconstruct and then build another one right there. Some break risks. No problem. Should be getting close to that uh, raid. It's too bad I won't let you... Um, maybe it will let you stop and like... Um, can you stop and rest or something? Uh, yeah, no, I don't want to settle. What is this? Uh, oh, more temperate forest. All right. Uh, oh, Ryan, the blacksmith. Oh, no. So what happens when they go on a mental break while you're in a caravan? Does it slow down the caravan? Attacking. Okay, yeah, attacking Toxo. Duh, that's what I told him to do. Yeah, weird. So I guess Ryan just wanders with us, but he's going to... Well, he's a melee fighter, so I wouldn't really be counting on him in this battle anyways. All these little uh, birch trees just grow between all the other trees. It's crazy that it does that. Plenty of kibble. Still decent amount of meat the freezer lots of vegetables so and then plenty of hay as well so I don't need to worry about uh, animals going hungry 
Though nobody seems to want to take any kibble over here. What's going on? Generating map for new encounter. Oh, that must be the uh, the raid. This will be an exciting uh, conclusion to our. Uh, oh, exciting conclusion to our episode. All right, let's jump to location here. What are we up against? So there's the colony. Wow, a lot of uh, a lot of tribals. Four, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20 versus 8. I think we could probably manage that. Um, they don't really have any defenses set up, so they'll probably use like that wall area or something. Let's see, they've got some gold down here. I could try to mine. So I think maybe, maybe approaching from over here is probably going to be the best bet. So let's just have everybody come up this way. Whoa, oh, they they are not, uh, they're gonna come attack me, huh? Is that how this works? I mean, I don't mind that. I assumed that uh, they would wait until I got to them. Ryan, uh, why don't you come back? Uh, oh, you're still in your sad wandering. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> Strange that you're uh, drafted still. Um, all right, so Nathan, move up there. You there, you there. And uh, I guess the bad guys are not close enough to uh, to start attacking yet, but start shooting at those bad guys. Good job, Nick. Oh, Ryan. Shit. He's gonna get killed. Ryan. Let's take a look at your, uh, <laughs> let's give you a little, uh, just remember who you are here. I feel like you're pretty new. Three seasons and 14 days, so you've been around for a little while yet. Mostly cleaning. Okay, sure. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, I, oh, you just got that cut. All right, that makes sense. Um, oh, so you're a really good crafter. Well, that's a shame. It's going to be a shame to lose you. Hmm. Aside from the rest of that, though, you know, you must. I'm sure you have a bionic couple of bionics all right well hopefully uh hopefully you survive walking directly into the enemies but uh you know i'm not too optimistic about it yeah i'm gonna need rescue that's probably gonna slow down the return of our caravan as well wow nathan does not have a weapon he could probably Try to grab one, I guess. All right. Good job. Good job. Yeah, where are you going to flee to, dummies? <laughs> Good job, Erasmo. Oh, even Nathan just, like, punched the guy. As he was trying to run away. Great. All right. So uh, let's set up a sleeping spot. Actually, we can build a bed. Where's a decent tree around here? All right. Undraft you guys. And um, hmm. I guess everybody is set to being a doctor. So there's that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just throw Ryan into a sleeping spot like that and, uh, just set down some more sleeping spots so we can get everybody healed up and not worry about, um, building a, uh, ah, and that's the, that's the treasure that we're here for. What's up with the alligator? Huh, he's just dumb. So, no... I mean, I guess I'm going to take the... Uh, take the pemmican, but still. That doesn't even, like, make up for the pemmican that we ate to get here. What kind of... Oh, well, you know, sorry. Order. Fine. Cancel that one. 
guess we'll get some gold out of it, I guess. This is assuming that our pawns can get up and, and uh, function because they're all they're all going to be pretty badly uh, all going to be pretty badly uh, hurt. Uh, yeah, you guys don't really need to chop down those trees, but I guess since you're now you barely started, so cancel. Just just rest, please. Um, let's change these to there we go. Change these to uh, medical, and then maybe you'll rest until healed. Um, has somebody rescued uh, Ryan? There we go. Rescue Ryan. And can I just walk in and grab that stuff? What are you doing, Christian? Relaxing socially. How about... Um, uh, okay, so you need to uh, break down that door. Probably Ryan on the major break risk. No, it's Nick this time. Huh. Interesting that you can do that. But they won't let you do that like in a normal, uh, normal colony. All right. Great. And the rest of you guys are just sleeping on the ground over here. You should at least sleep in the sleep in the sleeping spots. I'll just set down some more normal ones. There we go. What are you doing, Ben? Relaxing socially, that's fine. Hopefully that uh, this guy doesn't wake up and come out and start attacking us. Did I, I did I check to see if he had a mental like a brain uh, brain injury or something? No, nope, no injuries. Why is he, uh, hmm, must just be sleeping time for him. What's gonna happen when he wakes up? How's Ryan coming along health-wise? Looks like he's bandaged up fairly well. He's gonna survive. Looks like we still have some more uh, bandaging to do though. Kevin, uh, can you grab up that meat? May as well. Oh, Nathan, why don't you grab up that gold? Cannot pick up gold too heavy. All right, well. How about now? Good job, Kevin. You're a carrying machine. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Reform caravan. Still some enemies in the area. Are you kidding me? So we have to go and like kill this stupid, uh, kill this stupid guy. Not going to be difficult. Oh, good. Well, now it's going to be even easier. Erasmo, why don't you go right there? Actually, why don't you go right there? There we go. Okay, great. Outpost destroyed. Now, does that mean it's just going to be like gone for good, or how does that work? And uh, it looks like there's still some healing going on over here. Wow, Christian must have got must have gotten. Uh... Oh, he lost a hand. Wow. Well, that's too bad. Didn't notice that, Ryan. Ryan, you're you're all fine. All right, there we go. Clear, cancel, clear. There we go. Extreme break risk. Cool. Outpost destroyed. Fine. Ben, uh, no, that must have. No, he is wandering around. So am I not going to be able to reform my caravan at this point? Reform caravan. Nope, I can. Good. Nathan is carrying too much, or no, he cannot carry anything for some reason. He's got too much stuff already. Um, items, so I've got room to carry plenty more stuff. Rice, uh, still room for lots more. I don't need to bring any of these corpses. 
don't really want to bring any of these. I'll bring that long sword. Probably one of my long swords. Um, oh. So, for some reason, these dead man's clothes are not listed as dead man's clothes. Uh, I don't know that I really want to bring them with me or anything, but I'll bring some of the some of the nice parkas, I suppose. May as well get the uh, money from those. Hopefully they don't turn into dead man's clothes like uh, while I'm uh, carrying them or anything. Um, but uh, no point in just leaving, leaving their value behind, even though they're not particularly valuable. And uh, boy, I still have plenty of carrying capacity. Um, I guess I could take this excellent great bow and this good great bow and then just go back here and start uh, loading up on clothes until I run out of carrying capacity because there's no point in not carrying everything that I can. Um, well, so that was uh, anticlimactic, I guess, to uh, that raid. It wasn't like we didn't really, it wasn't worth it, I would say. Uh, it was fun. Like it was worth it because it was fun. But even there, it wasn't really that fun because uh, all they did was rush us in kind of a dumb way. And um, that was it. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this episode. If you have, you should click the like button. Um, let me know in the comments, down in the comment area, what you thought. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, that's the place to put them. Um, and uh, I appreciate you guys being here watching. Uh, channel's doing great. I'm really happy that that is the case. And it's because you guys like to watch most every day, it seems like. Uh, and that's the reason that we succeed. So thank you so much for making my life a little more pleasant. And I will see you soon. Bye.